Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing on this Mr. Coffee Latte Lux. This is brand new. It's a four in one. This thing kind of snuck up on us. They, I saw them post something on social media, but they didn't say much about it. And they really haven't talked about the release yet. I just been looking for it and I came across it on Amazon. And they're also selling the same model at Target, but it's a different color. It's a little cheaper at Target though. So on Amazon, it's 147. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, again, this is just gonna be an unboxing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it for a little while. I'm gonna try to figure out, make some different drinks. So I'm gonna be doing a detailed review on it really soon. Then I'll be doing comparisons with maybe the Keurig machine, because this is gonna kinda compete with the Keurig K-Cafe. And Keurig's got a new K-Cafe coming out too. It's called the K-Cafe Smart. It's not released yet. I, just, I saw a picture on, on Best Buy um, a viewer told me about, so I'm, I'm watching it. I think it's going to release really soon. So pretty exciting stuff coming this fall with new coffee makers. I will be buying all those new coffee makers as soon as they, as soon as I can get my hands on them, I'll be doing an unboxing, detailed reviews, how to make different drinks, if they need descaled and different comparisons. Okay. So let's open it up. Okay. So I cut the tape on it. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna put it on its side and I'm gonna pull it out the box on the side. Okay, so let's pull it out. Okay, so let's take the cardboard off. Be careful. Looks like there are some parts that can fall out. Okay, so if Miss Fiona heard me starting my video, she's gonna want her treat. She does love her treats. Okay, so I've got everything unboxed. Everything was kind of wrapped in plastic. It looks really nice. So this is something new from Mr. Coffee, is a frother. This is kind of rubber grippery. Oh, it doesn't, so it must use magnetism to twirl this. There is something for that to stick on, and that to stick on. Let's see if I can get it on there. It's a little tricky. I've got pretty big hands, so. Yeah, so it's gonna sit on there. Okay, so there's the whisk in there. There are some lines on there. Latte, cappuccino, and max. This looks really nice, really nice. It's gonna sit right here. So here we've got a drip tray. We've got some buttons. Over ice, hot brew, hot latte, hot cappuccino, cold foam. So we got buttons for the frother side and buttons for the coffee maker side. Over here we got the scoop. I like that when we do a hot brew or a over ice. So that fits in there really nice. Let's look around back. This thing looks really nice. So here's what the bottom of it looks like. It's got these rubber feet. It says it's 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, 1,400 watts. Again, there's what it looks like. So up here it's got this really nice Mr. Coffee logo. That's metal. It's plastic around it, but it looks really nice. So up here at the top, we open it up. It does come with a reusable filter basket. We can move the brew head out of the way. Let's take this out. So there's the brew basket. It's got like a little handle on it. And there's the reusable filter. That's kind of a plastic mesh. Fits right there. There's markings back here. Four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 12 ounce kind of steps to show you how much water you've added. Then move the brew head back. I like that they I like that they put these stickers on here. You, you can eventually take this off, but it's nice so you can kind of see how to make things real quick. They make things very simple. So here is the latte or the uh, frother. It's got, it looks like it's got like a little button. It's going to heat the milk and it's also going to spin that. So it fits on there really well. Yeah, so this will make cleanup. You can put this whole thing in the dishwasher now. Instead, of sometimes they have electrical connections back here and you can't get these wet. But boy, that's gonna, that's gonna be nice. So it does come with this ice tumbler. It's got the Mr. Coffee logo on it. Looks really nice, comes with a straw. I like that it screws on. They've got markings on here. This is what you're gonna use to make different drinks. It's got, when you, you're gonna add the water to the machine, fill it up to here and same with the ice. Comes with a recipe book 
and it is for the Mr. Coffee Latte recipe book. So these are going to be kind of interesting. These usually taste pretty good, and they're very simple instructions. It does come with a manual. Okay, so let's do dimensions. Left to right, it's about 10 and a quarter. Front to back. Right at nine and a half. Height-wise for the tumbler, that's right around almost eight inches, so seven and three quarters. And with the lid all the way up, it's right around 17 inches, so this should fit under a kitchen cabinet. Now the cord is not super long, it's only 24 inches long, two prong. Let's just measure the frother. So it's right around five and a quarter, and it's about three and a half opening. Again, there's what the whisk is gonna be. So it just snaps on that little rod down there. Yeah, it seems very well made. I bet there's like metal in there so that it can turn with magnetism. Getting it on, yeah, you're get, once I got used to putting it on, it goes on pretty easy now. Again, nice and grippy. Looks like this does come off, but it's on there pretty good. I really like that part. Now I do hear like a piece of metal. So when I take this off, there must be a magnet that's kind of pulling it down farther. So I'll put it back on. Yeah, then when I put it on here, I hear something kind of snap. There's like some metal in there. It must be drawing that thing down farther or something. Again, it just looks really sharp. Very, very nice looking. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about it. Let's just make a really quick iced latte. Um, I'll be using the cold foam on this. So let's fill the frother up with some milk. Let's put some coffee in. So I'll be doing the over ice, one to two scoops. I'll be putting about one and a half scoops in. I like that scoop. Okay, next I got my tumbler filled up to the watermark and we're gonna pour it in the back. So let's pour the water right here. So it says not for an iced latte not to go above the four ounce mark. So that mark is a little bit more than four ounces. So, and the four ounce mark is right there. So I just went just a little over it. Okay, I got the tumbler filled up to the ice line. You're simply gonna put it underneath there. I've got it plugged in. We're gonna press over ice. There's a little LED light that lights up. You can see it lights up as soon as I press the button. And it starts brewing right away. Right away it starts brewing. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some milk in. Now it says whole milk works the best. I'm gonna use 2%. But again, there's three lines down there. There's cappuccinos at the very bottom, latte, and then max. So I'm gonna fill it up to the latte line. And again, make sure your whisk is down in there already. because It'll be hard to get it in there. Milk's already in there, so just fill it up. Yeah, that coffee smells really good. It's brewing it right into the ice. Okay, so that was really quick. I got the lid on, let's put this on. Now let's hit the cold. Okay, so it starts frothing it right away. And the coffee maker really wasn't done yet either. So it looks like you can froth and brew coffee at the same time. Now the frother's not loud. Now since I picked cold, it's not gonna heat it up. If I would have selected hot, it would have heated it up and frothed it at the same time. Here's how our coffee did. I've got some vanilla syrup. We're gonna put some vanilla in there and this is gonna be a really nice drink, I think. Yeah, and the over ice, but the over ice that was lit up, it went out. So that means the coffee maker has shut off completely. It stopped dripping. There's our really strong coffee. Now we're gonna add our milk. Okay, so it doesn't beep at us or anything. It just stops and the light goes off when it's done frothing. Okay, so let's, I'm pretty anxious. Ooh, that looks really nice. Nice and creamy, velvety. Wow. Does that look nice? It did a great job. And now let's add our syrup. You can add any syrup you want, or you don't have to add any syrup at all, but this really helps with the bitterness of coffee. I call it about two tablespoons. Let's add about three. 
So I overflowed it a little bit. I'm going to take some of this out so I can put the lid on. Okay, so let's put our straw and lid in. It looks and smells really good. That tastes delicious. That is a magnificent drink. I, I can't believe how well that tastes. It, it's kind of nice having that milk kind of froth and creamy. It's a really cold drink. I never added any more ice. It is super cold. There's lots of ice left. That vanilla in there really helps with the flavor. It's got a strong coffee. That's a very strong coffee that it made into the ice. Um, wow, that's a delicious drink. And it makes a lot of it too. Again, there's cleanup's gonna be very simple. Um, taking that whisk out, cleaning this up. Again, no electrical connections. It shuts off automatically, that's very nice. And then up here, we just gotta, we can take the filter basket out, empty our coffee grounds out. Again, nice job. So I couldn't resist making a drink with it. It just seemed like it was gonna be very easy. It was super easy to make the drink. Um, I got, I'm gonna do a detailed video, kind of do temperatures and, and all the different drinks, but wow. This thing was absolutely delicious. Makes a great iced coffee. Um, I've had iced coffee with the other iced um, machine and it's a, it's a great coffee maker too. And I can tell there's a lot of parts that are the same, it looks like. But man, that frother, that's a game changer right there. Mr. Coffee has really uh, outdid theirself. This is gonna be a very nice coffee maker. This will be a very popular um, Christmas gift. This is just gonna be a really nice coffee maker, I can tell. They're making it so simple to make these drinks at home now with some syrup and some milk. And again, just with that frothing, that, that milk, Normally I add milk to this and it tastes really good that way too, but by frothing the milk, it kind of made it kind of silkier and boy, it just gave it some texture and you can kind of taste that. The really strong coffee, that's, and I can't wait to get into the hot uh, lattes and hot cappuccinos. That'll be in my next video, the detailed video, I'll show you how it's gonna do hot cappuccinos, hot lattes. The only thing I see there is, you know, your cup's gonna be kind of down here. There's nothing really to put it on. So we'll see how it does. So let's just take a look at the box art before we leave here. Automatic one-touch frother, adjust speed for perfect froth. Brews a concentrated coffee. Yeah, I definitely did that. Foolproof measuring for iced coffee, sleek texture. And then it kind of promises hot, iced, and latte. So, you know, you can just make regular coffee with it. Iced coffee, you know, an iced latte, and then a hot latte or cappuccino. So, yeah, this thing looks really nice. And then while I was filming this, this was just got delivered. This is the brand new Chefman Barista Pro Plus. I had no idea about this. I was just on Amazon the other night, kind of filtering, searching new coffee makers and stuff. This one popped up. It looks really good. It looks like maybe it does Nespresso pods. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing an unboxing on it, and then I'll be using it for a while, and then I'll be uh, doing detailed videos on it. And again, Keurig's got uh, two new coffee makers coming out. They got a brand new Keurig K-Cafe Smart. I don't have it yet. I just saw a picture of it. And that'll be coming out soon too. So it's going to be an exciting fall. Lots of coffee makers, lots of different drinks. So I really appreciate everybody's support. Again, I'm doing this full-time now. This is my full-time job. I will put a link to this in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click on the link, I do get some money from that click, but the products don't cost you anymore. That's a way of supporting me. Again, I buy all these coffee makers with my own, my own money. Again, check out my other channel, Just to Dad Tips. I do kind of general purpose cell phone chargers and different things around the house, how to's on that channel. This channel will, will strictly be main coffee makers, air fryers, kind of carpet cleaners, kind of big purchase items for the house. And again, if there's anything else you want to see reviewed, you know, I just recently reviewed that WWE uh, that was a really cool coffee maker, and that was all from a viewer. So if there's anything you would like to see reviewed, leave them in the comments. I've been taking notes of everything everybody's been leaving. I've been, um, I'm going to try to get them all. So I just really appreciate everybody's support, and thank you again for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.